Creating things from things that you would normally throw away is easy. Creating something that's useful from things that you would normally throw away is where it gets difficult. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create something that you can actually use or just use for display purposes. We're going to put two wine bottles together and use some old blinds, the slats from the old blinds to make it decorative. You can put lights in this. If you have the ability to drill a hole in the bottle, you can drill a hole in the bottle and make it into a lamp. So it could be a light fixture. You can just leave it as is. You could also take this piece and do something in the middle. You could put liquid in it or sand in it. There are so many possibilities. I don't have it attached to this piece in the back so that it can be easily moved. And I'll show you how simple it is to create this. So all you're going to do is take, these are plastic uh, blind slats, and all you're going to do is take it apart. It's easy to detach from the blinds. And what you'll do is wash them thoroughly if they're a little discolored. I just saw a YouTube video where a guy put baking soda and vinegar together, and he was able to get the discoloration remove the discoloration. You can always look it up on YouTube how to, if you, your blinds are discolored, but I recommend washing it thoroughly. I cut my slats so that they would be tall enough not to cover the both bottles together, but just tall enough to cover part of the top bottle so that there was still enough at the top visible and not completely covered by the blind slats. And again, with these ideas, I hope you guys can use your imagination and come up with something that's similar or that you think of as another use and leave a comment below. The way these are attached, you can always use a permanent adhesive or hot glue, but what I did was just use cork so that at some later point, I can always change the bottles. You have clear bottles, you have bottles with prints on them, and I can always change the bottle out. And I'll show you how easy it is to detach. As you can see, they're just attached by putting a cork on both bottles and turning it upside down. You could always flip it over and put the part that has the smaller bottle on top. You could use the same size bottle, but you can see how easy it is to detach them, or you can permanently adhere them together. As you can see, when you remove it, one of the corks I was able to quickly reinsert, but this cork I had to sort of cut down. In a case like this, I would recommend adhering it. If you can get a cork to fit into both bottles, then it would be easier just to leave them attached like I did to this bottle display. But in a case where I had to cut it down, I would recommend adhering it together so that it's permanent. When you turn it upside down with the heavier bottle or the bigger bottle on top, because of the suction from the cork, it stays together and you're able to hold the weight. I may go ahead and on camera show you how I can just click quickly adhere this, but I left it plain like this on the back so that you can see if you wanted to, you could leave it like this in the front and let me see if I can get a better angle. You see how the bigger bottle is on top? You could leave it like this in the front and just have the slats on the back. You could attach this to lights and make this a light installation. You can attach it to a board. You could probably attach it to cardboard, but some other type of board or even wood. That would be gorgeous if you do a beautiful wood stain with the contrast with the green. So there are, it's a very versatile craft, and I hope you guys can find a way of using this and creating it and leaving a comment. Let me show you one more thing. So in order to hot glue it, you're going to just make a line on the bottle that you want to attach your slats to. So in this case, you're going to make a line of hot glue on the bottom bottle. 
and as you make the line of hot glue, that's where you'll attach the slat to. So if you want, you can space it out. But in my case, I like to do it sort of by eye. So just so simple. And if you mess up with the glue, let's see if I can zoom in on this. If you mess up with the glue, don't worry. You can easily peel the glue off. So I'm just showing you how you'll make a line. If for some reason the glue isn't where you want before the glue dries, just peel it off and it comes off like that. So simple. Okay, this most of my crafts are crafts that if you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. Just before it dries, just peel it off. So I hope you like this craft. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more crafts. And if you come up with a better way to create this, leave a comment and I'll be happy to take a look at it. Thanks for watching.